Singapore. With its fusion of Asian and European cultures, Singapore is one of the world's great cities. It was first established as a British trading colony in 1819, and since gaining its independence, it has developed into one of the richest city-states in the world, with one of the busiest ports. Elegant colonial structures coexist with historic street markets and contemporary high-rises. Travelers who follow the rules cannot help but be entranced by this multicultural metropolis, despite the fact that the authorities can be tough with citizens and visitors who act inappropriately. Ten Top Tourist Attractions in Singapore 10. Marina Bay Sands If construction prices are your thing, you'll love the Marina Bay Sands. When it opened in 2010, it was the most expensive skyscraper in the world, having cost 5.7 billion US dollars to construct. The Marina Bay Sands is an all-inclusive resort that features a five-star hotel, fine dining options, an unlimited array of shops, one of Asia's largest convention centers, a theater, an art science museum, and other entertainment venues. It also features a synthetic ice indoor skating rink. Nine, Singapore Flyer. The Singapore Flyer is a sizable Ferris wheel, but it has advantages in addition to the breathtaking vistas it offers below. Up to 28 people can fit inside a car as it circles the city. Its opening in 2008 made it the world's tallest Ferris wheel, rising 165 meters, 541 feet, into the Singaporean sky. The flyer can fit wheelchair-bound visitors with advance notice. The flyer station, which is on Marina Bay, includes three floors of dining options, retail stores, and other amenities. Eight Buddha Tooth Relic Temple. The Buddha Tooth Relic Temple is one of the more odd temples built in China, which also builds temples to many other gods and objects. When a Buddhist temple was first suggested for Singapore's Chinatown in the late 1980s, it was intended to develop into a more conventional temple. It eventually evolved into the Tooth Relic Temple, which serves as the repository for a Buddha Tooth Relic. The temple, which is situated in the heart of Chinatown, also showcases other works of Singaporean Buddhist art. 7. Night Safari People who like to go out at night but are sick of the club scene should visit Night Safari, where nocturnal animals, not party animals, are on show. Since it was opened in 1984, it has become one of Singapore's biggest tourist destinations, with more than a million visitors per year taking a tram ride through seven different globe regions. While viewing a display highlighting the group's efforts to protect threatened species through captive breeding programs, Visitors can also take a trail walk to learn more about animal habits in another area of the attraction. The food and performances at three restaurants are themed after the jungle or rainforest. 6. Singapore Botanic Gardens The National Orchid Garden, which is the most popular area of the Singapore Botanic Gardens, is the only one that requires payment, making it ideal for those on a tight budget. The park is home to the first children's garden in the world and has more than 60,000 different varieties of flora and animals. The tropical foliage of the gardens has won praise from previous visitors. 5. Gardens by the Bay Gardeners won't want to miss visiting Gardens by the Bay, a more recent addition to Singapore's tourism attractions. Gardens by the Bay, located in the heart of Singapore, has only been open for a little over 10 years. 
It consists of three gardens, Bay South, the largest garden, which features tropical horticulture and features tree-like structures up to 50 meters, 160 feet, high that dominate the garden's landscape, Bay East, which is opening in phases as sections are completed, and Bay Central, which has a waterfront walk that will eventually connect the other two gardens. Four, Raffles Hotel. Singapore's face is the elegant colonial design of Raffles Hotel. Since it first opened in 1887, it has quickly established itself as the place to stay in Singapore, thanks in large part to the contributions of authors like Rudyard Kipling, Somerset Maugham, and Ernest Hemingway. This pinnacle of luxury has 15 dining establishments and drinking establishments, including the long bar where the Singapore Sling Cocktail was created. Even the uniformed Sikh doormen who welcome visitors to this piece of Southeast Asian heritage are renowned, as is the Raffles Hotel. While the hotel museum is tucked away on the third story, the lobby of the main structure is accessible to the public. 3. Clark Quay Another remnant of Singapore's past that is still active today is Clark Quay. The quay at the mouth of the Singapore River, one of Singapore's top tourist destinations, served as the city's commercial center in the late 19th century. Today, it still bustles and hustles, but with a different style of business, including hip eateries, distinctive shops, pushcart vendors, and more that combine Asian and European influences. Except for the hours of darkness, when Clark Quay is a hive of posh nightclubs, a market is a market. Two, Resorts World Sentosa. A destination unto itself in Singapore, Resorts World Sentosa. The resort, which is on an island off the southern coast of Singapore, has hotels, dining establishments, a casino, and theme parks. In other words, it has something for people of all ages. With this location, it is only natural that the sea be the focus of the attractions, including Marine Life Park, Dolphin Island, a water park, and an aquarium. Universal Studios Singapore and Nightly Entertainment are additional attractions. Be aware that there is a dress code for the casino, which also has 2,400 slot machines and a number of table games. For guests who are hungry, the resort provides more than 60 food alternatives. 1. Orchard Road Singapore's largest shopping district, Orchard Road, is frequently visited by both residents and foreign tourists. Orchard Road, so named because it led to fruit orchards, is bordered by malls, a lot of upscale eateries, coffee chains, cafes, nightclubs, and hotels. The Astana, the official house of the President of Singapore, is also located there. With reindeer playing among the pom-poms and gingerbread cottages covered in fake snow, the Christmas decorations along Orchard are well-known and completely extravagant. That's it for now. View more of our channel's videos. We appreciate you being here.